Hi. Welcome to Love and Forever Evolving, where we are always and forever evolving. Hello, Aries. Welcome back, my loves. Welcome to your love reading. I hope all has been well, Aries. Hope you've been taking care of yourselves, eating plenty of fruit and vegetables, and taking care of that beautiful, sexy temple of yours, Aries, as it take care of you, my loves. Welcome back. Come on in. Have a seat, Aries. We're going to see what messages source your guardian angels and your ancestors have for you today for love. All right. Shout out to the evolving spirits. Shout out to the Patreon soul family gang gang. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you all so much for your continuous love and support. I definitely hope you all are enjoying the content just as much as I am here. And welcome back, Ram, to the ones that are new here. It is an honor and a pleasure to have each and every one of you all here with us as well. Definitely if the reading here today resonates with your spirit. Don't forget to like, join by subscribing, clicking that notification bell so you can be aware for when I go live here on this platform as well, my love, all right? This week, we have been focusing in on the color black. Yes, I have enjoyed working with the color black and gold this week here as well. We do understand here, Rams, that colors have their own frequency and vibration, all right? So if you would love to learn how to manifest with colors as well along your spiritual journey and path, definitely I encourage you to join our Soul Tribe where I can go more into details and provide you daily content on ways to spiritually, emotionally, and mentally evolve and how to manifest with colors as well, my loves, all right? So definitely if you're new here, Aries, keep up with the community board that is where I do post the new info for each color that we transition into each week and i also provide you daily enlightenment there as well all right so let's go ahead and get started here let's see what's coming towards you for love all right yes love 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 is in the air aries all right wow look at there we got some communication coming in here very quick and very fast as well all right so this could be a fire sign like yourself here aries for some of you all as well as far as this communication coming through this could be from a sagittarius in aries like yourself or a leo here for some of you all as well aries for whoever this is this is someone that this is going to be some good news as well all right this is something that you've always wanted to hear about or just whatever this is is going to be good news for you this could be coming in from a distance as well some of y'all you may have met this person online or you will be meeting this particular person online here all right others of you all this is someone that could be at a distance from you all right that could be in another city another state all right but this is definitely some communication that's going to be coming in here it's going to be unstoppable communication meaning it's going to be able to continue to grow continue to manifest whatever this is and how this pertains to you all right others of you all this could also be a career opportunity here as well something that's going to bring you some good news all right wow i love it all right, so let's see what else is coming towards you for love. Ooh, well, look at there. I just love these cards here. Shout out to the color black and gold this week. However, we have the star card here, okay? Again, some of y'all, this person may be Aquarius here. They could be an air sign here. This is particularly Aquarius energy here, or they could be a Libra or a Gemini here, Aries. But however, this card talks about healing, being able to balance yourself spiritually, mentally, and emotionally here. Some of y'all are definitely going through this process here where you're now being able to manifest things to actually come true, come here in the physical realm. You see how she's pouring in the water here and she's grounding herself here as well and pouring in the water and on the soil, okay, the earth. So she's being able to manifest spiritually, mentally, and emotionally, okay? She's being able to manifest in the physical realm and she's being able to manifest in the spiritual and physical realm okay so this is wonderful others of you all this person sees you as their star okay they see you as someone that's the one for them as well here i'm picking up as well with the star card here again some of y'all this person could be aquarius a fire sign a leo an aries like yourself or again a sagittarius but someone has gone through their own healing process through their own obstacles and challenges and it's why i feel like the 
energy here is going to be very reciprocate with you. This is going to be someone that's going to be able to understand you, Aries, because of their own trials and tribulations and things that they have experienced through their own relationship here. Is why I see the communication back and forth with you. It's like as if it's not going to ever be a dry moment between you two because you two are going to have so much to share with each other, explore with each other as well here. Wow, I love it. Yeah, look at that. Oh my goodness. We have the Queen of Cups here. Now, this is Scorpio energy here, Aries, all right? Some of y'all, this particular person here may be a Scorpio, all right? But this card here talks about love, all right? Unconditional love, loyalty, okay? Some of y'all, this particular person here, again, they could also be a Pisces or they could be a Cancer here or, again, a Scorpio energy here. This could also be either a Queen of Cups that we're referencing here too or a King of Cups here, okay? Just take it how it resonates for you. But whoever this person here is, honey, they love you, Aries, or they're gonna be in love with you, okay? Right off the back, it's gonna be a very great spiritual connection between you two because of the frequency and the vibration that you two are now on. You both have evolved and you are still evolving and becoming a better version of yourself. So this is gonna be very recognized between you two is why I feel like the bond and the connection here between you two it's going to be very strong, okay? Wow, I love it, Aries. Definitely so far after reading here is fulfilling to you and your spirit here and it's resonating for you, your situation, your circumstance. Again, don't forget to like, share the content with your partner here or whoever you may know that this is resonating here for. And again, definitely make sure to adjust your notification bell, Aries, for when I go live here on this platform for you all. And I am now available, Aries, for personal readings. If you would love to book a personal and reading with me all that information loves it was down below in the description box my loves all right so i'm gonna use my raw tarot deck that i created before we close out your reading here today i want to see what all this communication is going to be about once it comes in here towards you so let's see what is this here wow I don't want that anymore, honey, okay? So, wow, someone is letting you know that they're done with whatever situation or circumstance from their past, okay? This is someone, like I mentioned, they've had their own obstacles and challenges here to experience in their past through people, through relationships, and now this person know what they want because they have healed, okay? And they now know what they will tolerate, what they will not tolerate, who will they allow in their space and not allowing people or situations to take advantage of them? Okay, yeah, look at that. She lied to me. All right, wow, that's very significant. So this person that I feel like for some of you all that are dating or this person that you are in a relationship with here or getting to know here, all right, they're letting you know that whoever they experienced a past relationship here with, that this person or their ex here lied to them, okay? And this is something that, again, this person is having to overcome. They may was very so much hurt by this particular feminine energy here. Or this could be a masculine energy here. Take it how it resonates. Some of you all, this could be your ex reaching out to you and informing you that someone that they were in a relationship here with lied to them, okay? So just take it how it resonates, but that's going to be very significant for someone here. Yeah, look at that. I am aware of what I did, okay? So someone is going to be coming in, confessing to you as well. I feel like for others of you all, Aries, of a situation or what they may have done here in the past with you, all right? Or something that, of course, you did not agree here with. And they're wanting you to know that they are aware, okay? They are aware of what happened or took place in this past relationship here, all right? And they are definitely wanting to, I feel like, start over with you, start fresh, give you a clean slate here and tell you everything that they want you to know that they possibly looks like didn't obviously tell you in the past, okay? Yeah, I knew that already. So some of you all, this particular person here knew what they were getting into before they were getting into it. And now they're definitely learning that lesson and have, okay? Now don't get it twisted, Aries. I don't need y'all all down in my damn comments. I'm not telling neither one of you okay to take this person back what i am telling you to do is to use your discernment here and know your worth okay and be a better version of yourself okay allow this to be not only a lesson 
for you, but for this person here as well, okay? Yeah, look at that. I am ready to start a family, all right? Some of y'all, like I said, this is someone that had their own experience with someone from the past, and now they are wanting to start a family with someone that they can trust, okay? Because like I said, some of y'all, this person see you as someone that they can trust and be in a relationship here with, because others of you all, this is someone that you're getting to know and you're dating, and this is not an ex of yours. This is someone who just experienced the same type of situation that you experienced from your past and how someone portrayed you in the past. Hell, they've been portrayed in the past too. So this person is just laying it out to you and letting you know, like, look, I know what I dealt with in my past and this is the type of woman or this is the type of man I want in my future. I don't want somebody who's going to lie to me. I don't want someone who is going to come in and tell me what the fuck they were aware of and what they did. I want somebody who's going to be straightforward and honest with me. Yeah, I can't make it up. I want to come over, okay? And so this person, it's like they get you. They understand. You both understand each other, and you both know what you both want for each other, okay? So, wow, beautiful. I'm definitely picking up two different energies, someone from a past. Rather, this is your past ex or person or this person's past ex. And others of you all, this is someone that you've been knowing for about a couple of months almost a year or two here and this person is now ready to settle down okay yeah that's what i'm picking up here aries okay let's get more as we close out yeah look at that haters want me but i want you so this person has accumulated some haters here because i feel like this person has put their foot down they're not just taking anybody and accepting anything they've learned from that already and now these people have become haters i feel like for this person here that's wanting to be in a relationship with you and vice versa you may have haters of course around you because you're not giving two fucks you're not paying attention to people that you know may have done things in your past that you did not agree here with so what they turn to fucking haters okay that means they asses wasn't for you in the first fucking place aries okay Mm hmm. I get lonely without you. Yeah, there is definitely an energy out here that get lonely without you. They definitely do a lot of thinking about you, a lot of wisha, woulda, coulda type of bullshit. All right. But hey, that's their loss. OK. And last card here we have. I can't help the way I feel. Wow. So, yeah, someone is definitely going to be coming in and communicating with you. So, again, definitely take it where it resonates here for you, Aries. I'm going to leave it here. And if you would love, again, to book a personal reading, I am available for personal readings. Again, all that information, loves, is down below in the description box. And, again, if you would love to extend your stay here and join our Patreon Soul family, definitely click the join link down below. Or you can extend your stay here and join the Patreon family where I do go live on camera. Each and every time I engage with the Patreon Soul family, I do provide free questions. Each and every time I go live, you also get the opportunity to have one-on-one -on -one more of experience with me. I do provide oracle messages for each Patreon member. And I show my face on live camera for you all to also have a more one-on-one -on -one experience with me you also get pre-recordings with me on camera and live streams with me on camera for your free questions and you also get all the content all the videos that i post here on youtube you receive that first and i also provide daily content there for you to spiritually mentally and emotionally evolve during your spiritual journey as well aries all right Thank you all so much again for your comments, your feedback. I see you. I know I can't get to everyone, comment, and respond. So I definitely make sure to hit that heart for you all. And I appreciate each and every one of you all, Aries. Remember, your health is your wealth, Aries. Bye-bye.